Well, welcome everyone. This is the 8th of July, 2024, the Jenkins Governance Meeting. Thanks very much for joining us. So today, let me make some notes here on the agenda. We've got Uli Mark and Bruno. We don't yet don't yet have Alex or Basel, and I'm not sure if either of them will be here today or not. It's summertime, and and we have okay. Jenna with us today. Yes, right. Very good, Shrikant, 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 Jana. Okay, whoops. Great. Very good. Thank you. All right. So key topics for today include upcoming calendar, news, action items, community activity, and some governance topics. Any other topics that need to be added to the agenda? Not for me, thank you. Okay, so let's take on the calendar first. So upcoming weekly release tomorrow is 2.467. Next LTS is the day after, Wednesday. Thanks to Chris Stern as the release lead. Thanks very much. And that is release lead and it looks good. Uh, change log is ready, etc. Upcoming major events, we've got the Jenkins Board and Officer Elections. Special thanks to Alex for reminding us of this. They will open August 1st for nominations, and the calendar is discussed later on in this, uh, in this meeting's notes. And then we've got the CD Mini Summit coming up in September in Vienna, Austria, thanks to Bruno, who will be attending that, and to Olivier Vernon who will be leading it. Uh, DevOps World 2024 planning has started, but I've, you need to register at the site to be notified for more details. Those are all the calendar items I have. On the news front, Java 17 is now required in Jenkins Weekly. It's been required now for the last two or three weeks. No major issues, no significant hurdles. We've chosen the next LTS baseline 2.462, that will be based on Java 11. This is the last LTS that will do Java 11 until our October 30th transition to Java 17. And special thanks to all the mentors. Bruno, do you want to share any additional on Jenkins and Google Summer of Code? I know we've got the midterm presentations this week. Yeah, you wrote it all, in fact. Uh, all of the projects will pass the midterm evaluation. No surprise there. All of them are doing great. And yes, we have a 10 minutes presentation per project uh, this coming Thursday. And yeah, it's all very promising, uh, in fact. And we are having fun learning together. And it has been a wonderful experience so far. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, all right. I'm, I'm, I've been so pleased using this site. This is just one of the projects, but new.stats.jenkins.io presents a whole, well, now come on. Oh, you know, demo effect. <laughs> yeah. Well, then that's the nature of it, right? It presents the whole Jenkins statistics process and the, the UI is much, much better, much, much better. So special thanks to each of the contributors here and to the mentors. Thanks a bunch. Action items. So we had a blog post that we needed as of June 19, and that's been done and published. We've got an action item to create a new way of sharing attributions. This one's going to be a delayed for a while. Basel's busy with the spring security upgrade and the Kevin Martin's work on the Chinese Jenkins site is delayed. Kevin is unfortunately unavailable due to surgery. So once he gets back, we'll look further at it. Any questions on the action items? On the community activity side, Contributor Spotlight, we have, have more than six months of Contributor Spotlights already shown. Thanks to Rajiv Singh, our most recent highlight, and we have several more coming. Uh, future spotlights for Alyssa Tong, Darren Pope, John Mark Messon, 
uh, several others. So thanks very much to contributors and thanks to those who have gathered the information. The version doc site is available in prototype form now, thanks to Vandit Singh and Chris Stern. They've done a great job of, of bringing it to this point. Still plenty yet to do. Any questions or comments on community activity? Not really. Just wanted to say that the, the pull request, uh, the thank a random contributor, has been merged earlier today. So it's working now. Uh, there will be some corrective PRs, I guess, but uh, it's already working. Great. Okay. So so we may see that already here. Oh, yes, there it is. <laughs> okay. On the production site. Very good. Thank you. And thanks to Stefan for pull request to the Jenkins repos. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Next topic then. Uh, I've sent a proposal that we move the governance board in September two weeks later because the proposed week is a U.S. national holiday. Uli, are you okay with that? Yes, that's fine for me because I'm in holidays as well. <laughs> Good. All right. And I've already made the change on the Jenkins calendar, so I'm assuming approval and we'll go with that. The other topic is board elections will start August 1. Thanks to, to Alex for reminding us of the uh, the calendar. I've written he, it into oh, it was the... you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> thanks very much for, for your reminder. And thanks to Alex for creating this very nice description of the process. So uh, August 1, Basil and I will send out an announcement that opens the for nominations. Six weeks of nominations. After the six week nomination period, we'll register voters for a period of six weeks. Then we'll vote for a period of four weeks and announce the results in early December. And thank you very much. We, we welcome people to be, propose themselves or others as officers or as members of the board. We'll have two board positions open and all the officer positions open. Uli, was there anything you wanted to highlight on that? No, I think, yeah, the, the positions that are open for re-election are from Alex and from me. Correct. So you said the two, so you, Mark, and uh, Basil, you will have one, one year again, more, one year more. And yeah, and that means that you are in the role of, uh, that you have to be the election committee this year, so. That's correct. Uh, now uh, that you're not precluded from becoming a, being a member of the board again. So we'd yeah. love to have you as a candidate if you're interested, but Basel and I will run the election. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thanks very much. Next topic was on the Spring Security 6 upgrade. And this is more an informational for everyone that Spring Security 6 upgrade is a major transition for the Jenkins project. Spring Security 5 reaches end of life 31 August 2024. And Spring Security 6 requires Jakarta EE9, which requires Java 17, which requires then Jetty 12 in order to do Jakarta EE9. So we're making many different major changes in this. It's doing it multi-phase. So first step, require Java 17 is already done. Next step, upgrade Jetty 10 to Jetty 12 EE8 will probably happen in July. And then this Jetty 12 EE8 to EE9, we're not sure if that will be August or September. But big challenge and an open question still that needs more time to to settle and find an answer is when do we make the change in the plug-in parent palm that causes Jenkins plug-in maintainers who choose that parent palm version to require Java 17. And it's it's a it's a compromise Basel's very much aware of the compromise and we'll watch it and see how it evolves. Any, any concerns about this particular project? 
Okay. Last topics then are related to expenses and our Azure expense status. We're on track for our June expense. We were on track for June expenses. Um, the Azure donation from Microsoft it expires August 31. And so we've been accelerating our use of Azure, preferring it over other solutions. So we use as much of that donation as we can. And we've asked for an additional donation from Azure. We hope for an answer on the request for an additional donation within the next few weeks. The AWS credits donation has not started consumption yet. We'll do that after August 31 when we have, when we've exhausted the Azure credits. And we've submitted a new request to AWS for a donation. We're not expecting that answer until sometime this month. Any questions from others on any of those topics? All right, any other topics that we've missed? Okay, then let's call this meeting done for today. Thanks very, very much, everyone.